Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherpy T. We are on an adventure to go get a snowmobile that is stuck in some cattails or some mess. Apparently what happened is those guys in the truck last night um, were basically breaking trail and there was another snowmobile um, that was stuck and because of that they had kind of lost their momentum and they had issues. Well, I arrived safe and sound, as you can see, but the roads were terrible. Uh, it was Sunday, it was right after a big snowstorm, and it was really warm out, and now it got really cold. What happened is, is back in this marsh here, they were into water up to their yeah. waist, from what I understand. And uh, yeah, well. this was in the middle of the night when it was like 10 below zero, and they got out of there, and... It, it's still wet. This area was closed. It wasn't marked on one side, just a, kind of a mix-up. Uh, but talk to the DNR, everything was good throughout this whole process. Oh yeah. Oh, the skis broke though. Yep. Yeah, it's really a bummer that those skis were damaged like that. I wish that wouldn't have happened. I tried to go slow at first and it just wouldn't move. Again, when you're in the driver's seat, it's tough to see back there. It was really wet last night, but again, because it was so cold, during that night, everything's starting to really freeze up. And it's not as bad as what it was before. So it might not look like this was miserable. Um, I would not have wanted to been one of the first people to go through there with a sled because the snow was probably three feet in those reeds and plus there was just big chunks of water. Kind of sad to see, in my opinion, one of the greatest snowmobiles ever made in Indy 500 being pulled home like that. What a bummer. Hopefully it's not going to be terrible to fix. Well, I was able to get everything loaded up, all safe and sound. Made the trip back. Again, it took me quite a while, probably an hour and a half, two hours to get here. Um, but it was a successful journey. I wish we wouldn't have had to do it in the first place, but uh, I'm glad I was able to help them get the darn thing out of there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Please click that like button. Throw some comments out there if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Um, more videos coming up. Take care, everyone. Not this close. I was in the Dallas. Maybe it was you then.